We are back at 739. Actress Leah Remini famously quit the Church of Scientology three years ago, and ever since she's been very vocal about her experiences. Well, now she's out with a new documentary that makes dramatic accusations about the church's alleged conduct. We're going to talk to Leah in just a moment, but first, her story. These are just some of the things that church said about me. Leah Remini taking the Church of Scientology to task. She needs to move on with her life instead of pathetically exploiting her former religion. In an explosive new documentary airing on the A&E Network. When you stop people's lives and families, I'll stop too. Remini was an advocate for the church early in her career, but more than three years ago, she left it all behind. And since then, she hasn't shied away from making serious claims of her own, including in her best-selling book, Troublemaker, and on TV. We believed in something because it starts out very kind of normal. You know, you could be a better Leah, I could be a better mother, I could be a better sister, I could be a better friend. Talking to Ellen last week about what she calls the risks of speaking out. My story pales in comparison to what happened to other people. How people are bullied into silence. You know, we don't have $3 billion to protect ourselves, right? So what I have is I'm an actress and I'm able to speak. In a statement, the Church of Scientology strongly denied her claims, telling today in part, quote, Leah Remini needs to move on with her life and career and stop blaming the church and others for all of her personal and professional setbacks. Most of all, she needs to quit promoting hatred and religious intolerance as a means to line her pockets. Fight for your family. A war of words between Remini and the Church of Scientology. Wake up a controversial religion that has created both friends and foes. Leah Remini, good morning. It's good, good morning. to see you. you too. You know, I was thinking about this. You, you wrote your book. Mm -hmm. You've you told your story. Mm -hmm. And now you're doing this documentary series, which amounts to really a continuation of this very public battle with Scientology. Right. Why? Well, I think it's important. I, I sat back when I left the church. I wrote my book. And I thought I was done. But I was watching what was happening to former members and... and former high-ranking clergy of the church and I was watching what the church was doing in response and I just felt I had a responsibility to help out where I could and I'm not a big fan of bullies um, so uh, it, it is part of who I am and I was a fighter in the church this is what they taught me and so I'm going to continue my fight but I'm on the right side of that fight now and I just want to send the message that you know, I'm just not going to sit back and, and allow it to go on. People are talking about their experiences um, of physical abuse, mental abuse, and I uh, to be called a liar, to victimize victims is not okay with me. Obviously, the church denies the allegations. Who do you hope sees this? Who is this for? Well, it's for the victims. It's for the people who have spoken out, but it's also for people who just maybe don't have the strength to fight, feel they don't have a voice. Um, it doesn't just have to be, I'm getting a thumbs up back <laughs> at you. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's really uh, for pe I just want to give people strength. And it's not just with this organization, but with any bully. I just hope that that's what the message is. The first episode gets into your story. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? You were a member of this church since you were a little girl. Most of my life. What was it like? to leave? Um, well, it's difficult to leave, but again, I'm lucky because I was an actress and um, I, I have a lot of support. Um, so for me, it, it, it pales in comparison to what, uh, you know, former high-ranking uh, executives had to deal with and what parishioners have to deal with, just average everyday Scientologists who dedicated their lives, money, and families to this, okay. and now they're suffering for speaking out. I think that's all something that a lot of people who, who hear about this think, I don't understand, like if you're in any other church, mm -hmm. if you don't want to be in it anymore, you just leave. Right, that's well that's the difference here, is that if you speak out, you're labeled an enemy to the church, and the church has policies on how to deal with its enemies, and they go after them. Um, it's in their own policies, and so they don't know any different as I did when I was in the church, so I understand it. I have compassion for it because um, you do become a person who's very hateful um, and you're very judgmental towards anyone who isn't a Scientologist and a critic of Scientology is dealt with in a very specific way. 
Um, and that is unlike a real church. The church there, says it doesn't discon disconnect families or encourage people. Well, they're sly. They, they are sly in that they are right about there is no policy of disconnection as it's categorized in the press because the press doesn't know, right? If you're not in it your whole life, you don't actually know the inner workings of their policies. And their policy is very specific about how you deal with someone who has spoken out about the Church of Scientology and there is no option but to disconnect or you will get kicked out of the church. Now for members who were in it their whole lives, this is an everyday proposition. This is a quarter of a million dollar proposition for just average parishioners. The, the, the dedication it takes to be a Scientologist um, is a lot. And um, it's not easy to just walk away because most people say, why not just get up and leave? Well, you're leaving everything you've ever known. You're, you're, you're giving up your whole life because that is what it takes to be a Scientologist and then you're kind of you're going to be losing your family because most of your family and friends are Scientologists. The church has issued lengthy statements about this documentary. Mm -hmm. I know you're familiar with them. In fact, your lawyer wrote back to them and said mm -hmm. you've been you've inflicted damage on Leah mm -hmm. and asked for 1.5 million dollars. The church says that amounts to extortion. Sure. Um, we put the whole statement on today.com mm -hmm. in fairness. But what do you say to that accusation that you're in it for money? Well, I'm not going to get a dime. I mean, I've given millions to the church and they've amassed three billion dollars. So I think that speaks for itself. I also think uh, it says a lot about the organization, um, how they respond to its critics. And it's not just me. It's anyone who has spoken out. Everyone is called a liar. Everyone's called an apostate. Everyone's called the same thing. And I'm in good company. I mean, they, they did it to Anderson Cooper. They did it to Alex Gibney, who's an award winning filmmaker, Paul Haggis, Oscar winner. I'm in good company and I think it says a lot more about the organization than it does about me. Did you ever think, oh, I don't know if I want to do this fight? Yeah, I mean, I told Annie, I mean, every day, I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but I think it's the right thing to do. And I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about um, its victims, and I feel it's an important message, and I feel this is the path that I'm supposed to be on at this point in my life. Leah Remini, it's good to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Once again, the premiere of Scientology and the Aftermath airs tomorrow night on A&E, and if you want to read the church's full statement, you can go to today.com.